The current generation Toyota Tundra has been around for a while, and while it brought big improvements over the previous generation, it still struggles to keep up with the big three in terms of sales numbers. That's why the Japanese automaker is preparing big updates for the next year to make this great truck even better. Stay with us as we take a detailed look at next year's model because the 2025 Toyota Tundra is about to wow everybody. 2025 Toyota Tundra Trail Hunter Although it's still unofficial, it all suggests that the 2025 Toyota Tundra is finally about to get the Trail Hunter trim. This version was already presented in the new Tacoma, but the Tundra was actually the first model to carry this moniker. That happened two years ago when we saw the Trail Hunter concept. The production version won't be significantly different. Practically, we expect to see the same treatment we saw in the case of the Tacoma. This will be another super capable off-road version of the truck, but compared to the TRD Pro, it'll be designed for a different kind of off-roading. Instead of desert running and things like that, the Tundra Trail Hunter will be a calmer type of off-roader, a rock crawler and an overlanding machine. For that reason, off-road upgrades will be a bit different compared to the TRD Pro. For example, we will see different kinds of off-road suspension. Instead of Fox shocks, this one will feature Old Man Emu shocks, designed to deal with the most challenging terrain around. Furthermore, the Tundra Trail Hunter will stand out with similar kinds of upgrades as the Tacoma, which refers to a number of accessories mostly provided by ARB, a utility bar in the bed, Rigid Industries LED fog lights, high mount air intake, and many more. Of course, it'll come with all the necessary equipment to ensure sustainability in the most remote areas, so count on all kinds of built-in accessories such as air compressors, all kinds of power outlets, beds, roof racks, and many more. Among other quintessential overlanding equipment, it's also worth mentioning things like forge upper control arms, upgraded skid plates, ARB tow hooks, and many more. For reference, the Tacoma Trail Hunter comes with Goodyear Wrangler Territory AT all-terrain tires, so we presume that the Tundra would come with the same or similar rubber. Facelift Expectations while the previous generation was in production for way too long, the current model is expected to practice way more frequent updates than before. Even though it was introduced in 2021, it looks like the facelift is already in the works. That makes perfect sense if we consider that key competitors have just been refreshed. The 2024 F-150 just got refreshed, while the 2025 Ram 1500 was introduced with massive updates. Logically, Toyota has to do something to keep pace, and well-known digital artists, such as guys from the Odoya YouTube channel, already offered their versions of refreshed Tundra. On these digital renderings, you can see updates of all kinds, and the facelift actually looks quite comprehensive. This refresh is coming after the series of redesigns Toyota introduced recently, starting from the aforementioned Tacoma. The 4Runner has been redesigned too, just like the Land Cruiser. With all this in mind, it's pretty clear that the full-size pickup truck would take some inspiration from these models. But digital renderings mainly suggest subtle changes, which is something we fully agree with. You can see a bolder and more aggressive design approach, with new headlights design and a new grille. Of course, these are followed by revisions on the bumper, while Aurea showed a new set of wheels and other things that usually come with mid-cycle updates. But the real thing is actually happening on the inside. We don't say that the current cabin looks bad, moreover, it looks very nice and comes loaded with tech and safety features. However, rivals like the Ram 1500 and even the F-150 look a bit more upscale, so digital rendering showed notable improvements in this aspect. Even though respectably sized, the 14-inch infotainment screen is gone along with the instrument cluster. Instead, the new model features a massive curved panel following the latest industry trends. The new panel integrates the instrument cluster and infotainment screen and really contributes to the overall upscale look. New Safety Features it's no secret that Toyota is among those companies that pay the most attention to safety. The Tundra is no exception, considering that even the most basic variant comes loaded with advanced driver assist features. Adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, and many more. These are all part of the standard equipment. But it's time for updates, not necessarily in terms of adding new things to the list of standard equipment, but rather in terms of making the existing systems even better. Namely, at the time the current generation Tundra was launched, Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 was active. Nowadays, it's the 3.0 version of the suite, so we see no reason why this full-size pickup wouldn't also get the new version of this comprehensive package. Among upgrades worth mentioning, one of the first things that come to mind is the new adaptive cruise control system with more distance settings, smoother and more natural acceleration and deceleration, better speed management in curves, etc. The lane recognition has been enhanced and there's now a broader range of traffic signs that the latest Toyota suite can recognize. Automatic high beams have been improved too, while one of the biggest novelties is the addition of the new system called Proactive Driving Assist, which offers proactive cornering assist, which helps drivers navigate curves by adjusting steering and braking. Altogether, the Safety Sense 3.0 will certainly help the Tundra retain one of the leading positions in the segment when it comes to overall driver and passenger safety. 
solving powertrain issues. Toyota's reliability reputation is beyond legendary, but even the greatest stumble sometimes. That's exactly what happened with the current generation Tundra. Namely, that redesign came after a full 14 years, so logically, changes were significant. One of them was the new engine. The good old and beloved 4.6 and 5.7 liter V8 engines were finally discontinued. It was time for smaller displacement, more torque, and better efficiency. Toyota came up with a brand new 3.4-liter twin-turbo V6, which promised better performance due to significantly more torque. But it turned out that the new engine still needed time for polishing. Just a couple of weeks ago, Toyota decided to go with a voluntary recall, which includes approximately 102,000 models with this engine, the Tundra, and the Lexus LX600. The reason is potential machining debris that may be left inside during the manufacturing process. According to Toyota, this manufacturing flaw may lead to potential engine knocking, rough running, loss of power, etc. What's interesting is that only non-hybrid versions were recalled. Units produced between 2022 and 2023. On the other hand, hybrid powertrains, although based on the same turbo engine, didn't experience the same issue. So besides updates, the 2025 Toyota Tundra will also have to convince potential buyers that the engine troubles are gone. That will require extra cost and effort, but from what we know so far, the powertrain offer won't change. Once again, Toyota's full-size pickup will be offered in three variants regarding powertrain. Base models will continue with a detuned version of the twin-turbo V6 with 348 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque, which is already more power than most rivals offer in their base variants. For those looking for something peppier, most trim levels will actually come standard with a more powerful variant of this engine with 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Finally, there's the hybrid version, which is not affected by this recall and which will continue to be the most capable variant on offer. This one puts out 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, and besides strong acceleration and overall performance, it's also well known for its high level of refinement and pretty impressive integration with electric units. Speaking of configurations, the refreshed 2025 Tundra will carry on with a variety of configurations on offer, including two cab styles and two bed sizes. Release date and price. A mid-cycle refresh indicates a bit earlier arrival than usual, but we're pretty sure that the 2025 Tundra won't arrive before the last quarter of the year. With all the updates we talked about in mind, it makes sense to expect some price increase. A slight increase or something more than that, it's still hard to say. For reference, the current model starts at around $41,800 in the SR trim, which is already a fairly well-equipped version of the truck. Most of the offers should remain the same, so you may count on familiar trim modicers such as the SR5, Limited, Platinum, and 1794 Edition, which gradually increase the amount of standard equipment and overall convenience. As we already talked about, the biggest novelty will be the addition of the new Trail Hunter trim, which will join the TRD Pro in the position of the most expensive Tundra on offer, with a starting price that could easily exceed $75,000. More details about this are expected soon. Thanks for watching and see you next time.